Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Art Apollinario, and I'm going to talk to you about something that a lot of women need a lot of help with. And it's not them, it's the guys. Okay? If you remember, Philip Zimbardo gave a talk about a year ago, The Demise of Guys. And in it, he said, they're wiping out socially with girls, guys are wiping out socially with girls, and sexually with women. And he's right. Okay? Men are having a hard time being men, and women are having a hard time finding men to be men. Women, raise your hands if you had a, you've had a hard time finding a man to satisfy you, to have a good relationship. Raise them high. Yes. Okay? It's hard. The reason that guys come to me is because they know this. If you give men the way, they will shine. Men have always done their best for women. Men have always listened to the books, the ideas. They've done it right all the time, except we get a bad manual. Just be yourself. There was an earlier speaker who said, just be yourself. I have to challenge you that it has to be different. <laughs> just be yourself isn't working anymore. Because this was myself for the last, I don't know, until 2007, until I got into pickup. The knight in shining armor. I paid off for uh, women's credit cards. I paid for their apartments. I had college education funds for my ex-wife. I did everything right, and then it still fell apart. And when that happened, I said, OK, something's wrong here. What do women really want? Do they want the rational animal, the guy who's going to be an animal, and think about it? It's a little bit more specific than that. They want the compassionate peak predator. <laughs> I know, he, he made jokes about Twilight before. OK, think about it. Edward is about, he's the type of guy that could bite her on the neck and kill her at any time. Because of his compassion, he stops and says, no, I care about you. Okay, Fifty Shades of Grey. This guy, Christian Grey, could take Anastasia to the edge of beating her up too much. And if he does, he says sorry. And if he doesn't, she feels good about herself. Okay? It's crazy, right? But guys have forgotten to be peak predators. We've learned to be compassionate in the guy with the rose, but we've forgotten our peak predatorship. So I'm a dating coach. I get men out of their caves to hunt again. Okay? <laughs> We've got Philip Zimbardo saying, these guys stay in their caves. We've got our video games. We've got porn. We get 11,000 hours of porn every hour, OK? These guys stay in their caves. And there's no reason to go out. However, it's never satisfying enough. So I'm going to give you a warning about my talk. If you don't want to ever look at a photograph different from now on, don't watch. Because what I'm going to show you is what I show the guys when I teach them about their photographs. It's called photograph reading. Uh, the woman, I worked at a domestic violence shelter. I was chairman of the board for two terms. And the woman who was CEO, when I got divorced, she spread out my photographs in front of me about our, my family. She goes, that's when everything went wrong. I was looking at the picture. I was like, that is when things went wrong. Our heads separated, our bodies separated. All pictures before that, our heads were touching and our bodies were touching. And in that moment, I was like, that is when things went wrong. So I'm going to show you how to do that with your own photographs. So I was up at the top, and I was watching people looking at their Facebooks during talks and stuff. I encourage that today for my talk. Open up your cell phones, look at your photographs, because you're going to see some amazing things that most people didn't realize was there. So this picture, this was me before I learned game. This is right before my divorce. Carolina Hurricanes won the Stanley Cup. I was season ticket holder. Does this look like the picture of a man who's married with two kids and stepsons celebrating the pinnacle of his favorite sport? Does it look like a guy who has sex? <laughs> Seriously. My girlfriend was the Stanley Cup. Okay? And I'm, I'm wearing the, the guys who train under me. We talk about fashion. We learn about dressing better. I'm wearing the Raleigh uniform. <laughs> Khakis that don't fit and a tennis shirt. And sometimes it's an Oxford. We need to look different if we want to be sexy, right? The legend of the Stanley Cup is when you touch the Stanley Cup, you all of a sudden hear the voices of everyone who's ever uh, won it, and they give you advice. I was like, oh, there's something wrong here. I'm standing alone with the Stanley Cup. So I had an idea. I can't be that knight in shining armor anymore. There's something not right. And what happened in 2007, the TV show, The Pickup Artist, came out. And I saw them trying as hard as they could to teach this 40-year-old guy how to pick up women. And they fully believed that he could do it. Now, he got kicked off on like the first or second show. But when I saw how hard they were trying, they obviously taught somebody how to be good with women at some point in their lives. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been trying hard. The guy who won the show is the guy in this picture, Cosmo. And he's putting the master pickup artist medal on my uh, chest after we had done some training in New York City. So I started doing the hard work. 
The hard work is learning about evolutionary psychology, reading The Mating Mind by Jeffrey Miller, reading books about sexual selection theory uh, by Darwin. TED Talks, TED Talks are great for learning this stuff. The applied science of it, though, is not great. They tell you you should do things, but how do you really learn to do these things as a science experiment in the real world? Uh, this just came out in October, Ann Cuddy talking about your body language shapes the world. Okay, what do most guys do when they're in a bar? They walk around with their drink like this and they're compressed or they're collapsed, okay? And they can't talk to a woman or they stand all the way in the back of the bar with their drink like this. That was me my whole life. I would go up to a woman and go, ah! and I would feel a tightness in my chest and nothing would come out. What's the immediate reaction of a woman? Creeper. <laughs> or what's the other reaction? Oh, let's go to the bathroom. You know, all this, the usual automatic subconscious programs in women's minds to get away from guys that might kill them. <laughs> so the body language of an alpha male is to pretend the world is your living room. When you sit down, she teaches this in her talk, you spread yourself out. Your testosterone goes up when you do that. And when your testosterone goes up, you feel more alpha. Her study showed that testosterone actually goes up when you put on alpha body language. So watch all the guys start adjusting out there. <laughs> Um, and the, the other lesson is when you treat the world like your living room, your drink isn't up like this. When you're in your living room, your drink is down like this and you walk around like it's your living room. If you're comfortable in the world, the world is your living room. So I got started. Okay, first picture, first few weeks in game. I see I have blonde streaks in my hair, new glasses, new avatar, we call it, new clothing. And this is the front row of Kid Rock, Kid Rock concert. All right. Beautiful woman next to me, but notice her head is away from me. Her body is not touching me. I know nothing about game. I'm just taking a picture with a beautiful woman. So when a guy ever shows up off a picture, hey, check me out with this woman. If there's a separation and the heads are upright, it is not attraction. There is no attraction there whatsoever. You're just taking a picture with a beautiful woman. A few more months down the line, I'm learning how to talk to women. I'm learning how to attract them. Her head starts getting closer. A few more months down the line, Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Her head is touching me. Yes, that's a model. 42-year-old divorced guy with diabetes who's a doctor with no time for women with two kids in joint custody can attract a Playboy Playmate. All of a sudden, that, the guy who talked about this is your core self and this is your outside shell, the shell had been broken. I could attract whoever I wanted. And then it culminates in this. This is Cosmo Magazine, Cosmo UK 2009. I went to the Pickup World Summit as a student. I wasn't even an instructor yet. And there was a Cosmo writer there sitting alone in a room full of pickup artists. And I said, there's a woman who's beautiful here. What is all of So I sat two seats away from her so she didn't think I, I was too interested. And I said, you know, you're writing with a frou-frou purple pen. You don't look, the t look like the typical woman at this thing. And she goes, she holds up a manila envelope that says Cosmo. I'm like, oh, cool. And I gave her my story. She's like, I need you for the interview. Okay. The next day, all the pickup artists are chasing her. Now that they know who she is, they want to get in the magazine. And she sees me across from the room. Art! And she leaves them all behind and runs to me. And they're all like, who is this guy? And she goes, it's time for the story. I'd be like, has anyone showed you what we can do yet? She goes, no, it's about enough to give a woman a complex. Nobody's hitting on me. I was like, OK, let me show you what we can do. So I grabbed her hand. And you could see that look on her face. Okay, that's called the doggy dinner bowl look in, in our vernacular. You get, you get food in a doggy dinner bowl, and you hold it in front of your dog, and she goes, or the dog goes, well, that's the same look. And this is why. Shocked when it turns out to be the hottest, filthiest hand massage I had ever had. With that, art the parts leaving me gobsmacked and flustered. So PUA social dynamics, this is applied relationship science. You can hear all you want about relationships and this is how this should go and this is how that should go. But if you never put it out where you do the alchemy of your soul, you would never change. This is, this is the problem that we have. The guys I teach, you know, Research Triangle Park, they're IT professionals, engineers, scientists, etc. But they think it's like kicking a ball. Okay, when you kick a ball, it should follow the same trajectory, go into the goal every time with the same wind, the same friction, etc., etc. But we're not kicking balls, we're kicking cats. Now, I am not condoning kicking cats, I'm just using it as an example. <laughs> when you're dealing with human interaction, you are not kicking a ball. You don't throw out a pickup line and expect the woman in the bed, okay? But most guys think that. You're kicking a cat, so when you kick a cat, it goes rawr, and then runs this way, rawr, and runs that way, rawr, and then starts scratching your face. You never know which you're gonna get. So when you're dealing with human interactions, calibration is the key. 
knowing what the patterns are, and then going, oh, cat's going over here, cat's going over here, and cat is right in front of me with the doggy dinner bowl look. Once you learn that, then you can attract women. But the problem is we've all been taught to be this knight in shining armor, romance, chivalry. If you want to learn where that all came from, read about Eleanor of Aquitaine, 1168, the court of romance. Total horse crap, okay? It was an artificial way of adding romance to a dowry system. Not the way to do it. So we are being taught to be these chivalrous guys, but what happens is we end up in the friend zone and we get frustrated. The friend zone is permanent purgatory of no sex. <laughs> Seriously, you're being told you're good enough to be my friend, but not my sexual friend. But what happens is we try to find a different way to do it. But the bad way is when you don't learn the true way that attracts a woman. So you learn bullying, begging, buying, BS, booze, and berating, calling them sluts and whores. When I teach my students, there is no such thing as sluts and whores ever again. I erase that from men's minds because it's bull crap. So you see, we're coming from a place where we don't want to be abusive to women. We want to attract them to the core. So I always get asked, what is your best pickup line? After uh, five years of doing this, it's still honesty. You would think that I would say, oh, who lies more, men or women? Oh, no, let me give you the TEDx opener. You know, you're really attractive, and I need to know three things about you. So after this, let's go talk at Babylon. Honest, she's attractive. Now, my girlfriend will meet her too, okay? <laughs> so she likes meeting new people too, so you got to understand, so I'm being honest, okay? But honesty is still the best policy. And that's what I teach. Why come up with bullcrap? Because women can sense when bullcrap's coming out. You just shake a different way, you act a different way. So don't do it. So the big mistake of just be yourself is you must first define what self means. If you don't know what self is or you think it's a knight in shining armor, you're going to keep acting on self. It's about being your best self, not about being yourself. Be your best self because your self is still going to be the same person. This is what I hear all the time. I'm not the type of guy who could talk to women in a bar. I'm not the type of guy who could do this. I'm not the type of guy who can do that. That's not self. That's not best self yet. Incongruence, when you try to be someone else, that outer shell, <laughs> it's douchebag. When you start trying to act like somebody you're not, the $30,000 millionaire, the guy making 30 grand trying to throw his money around like a millionaire in the VIP, it's incongruent. They, they will act, their body language will show to the women that they're not congruent. Incongruence is creepy. Okay, when a guy's standing there, he knows he wants a woman, and he just goes. <laughs> okay, if a guy was being congruent, he would walk up to her and say, I find you attractive. Right? We're men. We are not knights in shining armor. That should be okay. We are peak predators. Talk to the women you want to. If you see a beautiful woman here, a woman here who's single, talk to her. Become your best self. It's honest. It's in the moment. Compassionate. And you are fluid to improvement. If you ever saw the movie Hitch, his most important quote is where the guy's like, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that. He goes, you are a fluid concept. You are not anything set in stone right now. So your best self is someone who can move. Changing, moldable, and fluid. There is no set in stone self. That's why you're here. You want to hear all these ideas that are worth sharing so that you can mold yourself into something better. Static. It's these words. Always. Never. Can't. Try. I'm cursed. I'm cursed with all the men in my family being abusers. Fluid self. Okay, you see how this can actually help men not abuse women. Okay, that's where I'm getting at. In the past, I was cursed with being a guy who would always abuse women. But from this moment forward, I break the cycle. That's being fluid. Instead of saying, I'm always this, your problems are infinite, from this moment forward, you change things. So, photo reading. This is one of my students. Okay, this is Facebook time. He opened up his Facebook, and I looked at his Facebook, and I saw, he said, I can't attract women, I'm not good with women. I saw 70 women on his Facebook with their heads tilted towards him. I said, pick one. This is the one he picked, they're now married. <laughs> All right, that's what I do. Hand on the body shows she's willing to be physically intimate. Heads touching means that she's attracted, he's attracted. That's a very good, if your pictures don't look like that in your relationship, you need to start questioning what you need to do to make it look like that. Attraction, heads touching. Okay, me in a club. That woman, her head natural position would be out like this. But she's like this. She's holding that eight pounds up towards me. Neutrality, me and Joey Fatone at the mansion. I said, hey, let's take a picture. He shouldn't be attracted to me. We have relationship work to do. <laughs> Brandy Moses, my first Playboy Playmate interaction. 
She is trained to make guys look like she's attracted to them, but she's not. Her arms around me, her body's against me, but her head is straight up. That is not attraction, that's just a model taking a picture. But this is my wingman, one year ahead of me. Talk to her about her psychology degree, talk to her about how beautiful she was, and look at that head. Even though they're trained to make you look good, they can't help it, but the head always tells the truth. In fact, if you have someone strange next to you, try to put your head next to them. <laughs> Seriously, feel, feel the force fields. You will feel a subconscious force field that prevents you from doing it. Your subconscious prevents it. In a large crowd, you can tell who the uh, best friends are. You can tell, look at the congruence of the dresses. Look at the body stuff. You can just say, hey, you guys are best friends without even knowing anything about them. All of a sudden, you look like a mind reader. Alpha power, okay? <laughs> look at me in the middle. Boom. <laughs> All right. The backstory to this is I'm also an erotic hypnotist. Just go on YouTube, you'll learn how to do it. I can hypnotize women to have orgasm. She asked me to do that, the girl in the middle. I did it in front of a crowd at the Borgata Hotel in Atlantic City. If you took a panned out picture, you would have seen 200 heads towards me. <laughs> hand position, once again, is about sexual intimacy. So you can see her hand is on my chest. She's interested or willing, but you see I'm neutral. The reason I'm neutral is because her fiance took the picture. Okay, here's the, the clarification. If anybody's heads are tilting, but they do this or go, okay, that's negation. That erases any of the attraction. They're making fun. They're like, this isn't real. Scissor gang mafia, okay? So when people make faces or do that, it's not a real picture. And this is the last one I want to show you. This is called the lion sign, just like a lioness exposes her neck when she's ready for sex. <laughs> Women do that and don't even realize it. You see that in a picture? The woman is willing, okay? Look at the difference. Beginning of the relationship, end of the relationship. I predicted the divorce three months beforehand, just on the photographs. Look at this. Let's see, who wants to guess if they had premarital sex? <laughs> don't even have to say, right? You can just see it in the picture. If your relationship pictures don't look like this, you gotta wonder what's going on. Is it a relationship because of social norms, because of uh, you know, finances, security, or is it truly attraction? Your best self will show in your pictures. Honest, compassionate, present, fluid. Use it to change your life. That's it.